Stop wasting your money on the latest fashion trend that will die in a few months and you will stop to wear. Seriously, there are more intelligent and practical ways to look your best in a few minutes, no matter your age, your country, or your style. Let's dive in how we can achieve a modern and stylish look without spending money. This amazing formula will teach you on how to dress better and it works every time. So we're going to cover how to find your personal style and understanding your aesthetic and learning the confidence. As well, I will show you the styling hacks and fashion secrets that will save you so much time and money. And finally, how to develop an outfit mindset that will help you to shop better, save money, and how to put a fabulous outfit together. I love you so much. Thank you so much again for your likes, comments, and subscribing. This supporting my channel and help me to keep going. So please, click, click, click. So this is about how to level you up, to shine with confidence because the clothes you are wearing reflects not only your personality, your lifestyle, and how people see you. Dressing up is such a creative process because we love it so much because this is as well how we define ourselves to the exterior world. So good personal style and confidence is the strength and you can have that 100%, especially when you add a little bit more extra. People will smile or women with an expert eye will look at you and say, oh, I haven't thought about that, that looks fantastic. Your fashion sense can truly help you. For instance, have you noticed when you are well-dressed with the makeup on, the proper handbag, you walk in a shop, they're going to serve you first, they're coming to you. There is a reason for that, because you look amazing. The way we construct our outfit give a message of confidence, style, and success. So let's see first how to find your personal style. Okay, there are so many apps and they're free that you can use right now. And also you have Pinterest. I already talk about Pinterest a lot, but it's just selecting the photos or curating a vision board for you, the type of clothes you really love, the look and thinking, oh my gosh, I haven't thought about that. You're creating your vision board. By the way, if you want to follow me on Pinterest, my handle is MS Frederick. You can see myself, my my own vision board and I really love and you're gonna see it's a very similar because that's my personal style recently as well I tried a new app and this is not sponsored by the way and it's called wishy so after creating a free account you will find a questionnaire about which is super super important about your body type your gender what you like to wear what is your style are you a feminist are you a minimalist are you streetwear and then after that you will have three stylists that you can connect with and I can tell you the photos I check on the mood board of a stylist are 100%. I did for myself. It's already actually some clothes I already have in my wardrobe that I haven't thought about put together in a different style and thinking, oh wow, it looks great like that. Good idea. If you've been following me for a while, I know my personal style for a long time. You probably know I'm a minimalist. I love neutral colors or black and quite a classic cut as well. The only way I can a little bit level up my boring outfit, I use a lot of accessories and I will talk to you more about it as well. Anyone can elevate an outfit, a wardrobe by using those simple tips that I'm going to develop in this video. But those apps are absolutely amazing. It's like having a personal stylist in your pocket. You cannot go wrong with that. You have no excuses because all those vision boards they're going to offer you are based on the colors you like, your style, and actually absolutely adapted to your body. So you're going to tell me, how do you know you find your personal style? That's a very good question. Most of all, it takes time. It takes years sometimes, and it will evaluate with the way you age as well. We don't dress the same way that we 20s and 50s. Thanks God. <laughs> But also your personal style, it's when you feel comfortable, you love the colors, and of course you have the possibilities in your wardrobe to mix match top and bottom all together. Nothing is out of concept of anything. Everything is consistent. This is when you find your personal style. For example, I live in a tropical country, so I love wearing this over shoulder body. Absolutely love it. And if you like it or if you're more interested, I will link because I bought it from Amazon. I'm wearing a M size, I'm order 
exercise is coming soon. I absolutely love it. They come by a pair of three. They're affordable. I got another one. This is another color. It's coming. It's got spandex. So it suck you up. Suck you in, excuse me, a little bit in. They are so classy and for me. I love mix match them with a silk skirt, a straight leg pants that I'm having right now in linen. And it look with a pair of jeans. It looks fantastic. And you can reuse it as well on undergarment with a tailor blazer, etc. To me, these both pieces are part of the basic of my wardrobe. And then, of course, you can absolutely use accessories and have fun with hats, belt, statement earrings, or even wearing this with an open shirt. Love it. Highly recommend it. The best way to find your personal style is first stop following the fashion trends. Period. Of course, you need to know what will be the main colors for 2024. Of course, you need to know if you have something you already have in your wardrobe that's going to be super fashionable this year, so you don't have to spend extra money. By the way, if you haven't watched the fashion trends for 2024, I will link as well below. Highly recommend it. I will give you already the big picture. But stop buying the fashion pieces that you will wear only for three to four months and then realizing that everybody's wearing the same style, which is extremely boring. And maybe this style is not yours. Retailers make you think that you need this piece. Yeah, you will look beautiful in this model, but does it have the same effect on you when you're looking online, when you're looking on a model in a shop? Maybe on you it's different because it's not adapted to you, to your taste, your color, your body shape. Save you money and let's figure it out. First, look in your wardrobe, the type of pants you love wearing, the skirt texture, the type of shoes you love wearing or you wear all the time. There are reasons for that. Look at the influencer that you're following on social media. If you're following those influencers, there are reason because you love their style, you love the way they close, you love the different outfit they put together because that's probably close to your test. And check as well the favorite accessories. Check your preferences. Slowly, you're going to funnel down and you're going to see what you really like and what is your personal style. Also, what you can do is ask yourself the following question. Very important, does it fit my body? If you like, for example, a model, okay, she's super tall, she's super skinny and you may be petite and curvy. And of course, the same outfit is going to look totally different on her than on you or on me. Personally, I prefer following people who are close to my body shape because that will make more sense. You know, I'm not going to follow a girl who is six foot three and with no hips and that doesn't make sense to me. I would rather to follow someone who is more like uh, in fitness or have a fit body or in a V shape because that's my body type. I don't have curves, unfortunately, so I'm never going to follow for example, someone with big curves, big boobies, big boobs, big derriere, I meant, and the way they dress up because it's definitely not my body type. Or for example, if you like the feminine style, you know, the one with bright colors, flowers. To me, I know it looks like a clown. It's my opinion. This is this is what I know. It's not my style. But I admire the feminine women. I admire how some women can put up an outfit like that. And I know it's just not mine. And you should try to be selective the same way. Second question, what do you want with your wardrobe says about you? Do you want to say, I love comfort and modern? I love practical but colorful? I love as looking sexy but with not showing too much? Or I love being stylish without spending too much money on expensive designer pieces? Stop wearing the same pieces as everyone. Believe in your style. Believe in yourself. Believe in your personality. Do not allow other people tell you what is in fashion or not or what you should wear or not. No one should dictate women or men as well what you should wear every morning. It's your body. It's your day. We get dressed every morning. So this is why it's so important. Your style, they are to be different. The clothes you are wearing all day express who you really are, how you feel about yourself, what energy that boosts you for the rest of the day. This is the most important as well. You need to change your mindset. Stop paying attention to others. Be yourself. Be stylish. Be creative. Don't fit in a crowd. Don't dress down to look invisible. You are going to dress up to stand up, to shine, 
for you first. You never know who you're gonna meet in during the day, okay? And my mindset is always to look well, to dress well, not for the others, for me. But in same time, if I meet someone out of the blue, which happened a lot in Bali, sometimes I'm just coming back from diving, my hair is like that, I have a t-shirt and just a denim shorts, and you know what, no makeup, and I don't care, but most of the time, the impression that you give to others is extremely important, but it's for you, because the moment you dress well and you meet someone out of the blue you're gonna feel confident and you're not gonna feel like oh shit. I can't believe it, I'm meeting this person and the way I'm dressing, no, okay? So I can assure you, you will boost your confidence just by every morning making a little bit more time and thought about your outfit of the day. It's gonna change your attitude. <laughs> so if you want to know more about how to look, if for this is chic, elevate your wardrobe, boost your confidence, grab my styling course and join the thousand of ladies that I help so much with my course. I update it every year, it's a lifetime, access without any charge. You have access to 64 videos and it's time to unlock the full potential of your styling skills. And I will add the link below. And trust me, in one video, I cannot summarize my 64 co courses, videos, but really, really give a try. In terms of styling hacks, you never underestimate the power of colors. I cannot tell you enough how important it is to understand the colors. This is why I got a full modules in my course about it. So for example, you will see on the screen the color screen and that will help you so much to understand for your outfit decision as well. It will tell you which colors are going together and which colors are clashing with each other. So how it works, make sure you look stylish and put that together with mixing colors. So this color will save you so much time, especially if you love wearing a lot of colors. For example, you can pair something blue in the bottom and you can wear something yellow at the top they go very well together and then you can wear maybe a yellow bag in same time also you know that blue navy it's extremely nice color with any tan color and as well burgundy beautiful mixed up or if you like only one color you can use different tones of the same color it's almost monochromatic but monochromatic is exactly the same color from head to toe but for example you like a special blue you can wear different blue on the same outfit that will be absolutely fantastic and very classy as well, even with a pair of jeans and a blue shirt. Just adapt the colors you're wearing for what you have today. For instance, if you go to a work meeting or a job interview, stay away of the bright yellow, okay? Just wear more conservative colors such as black, navy, gray, beige, because those colors make you look sophisticated, smart, effortlessly chic. Those colors gonna give you a message as well and bring your confidence inside. For example, as well, opposite, if you want to be more playful or have a girlfriend barbecue, you want to wear pink, wear pink. Or maybe you want to be a little bit more flirtous and you're going for a date, then you might wear a little bit more red. There are as well two types of colors who go with absolutely everything, whatever you say. Black. Black, it's a color you can mix up with neutral color like I'm wearing now. Or you you can also wear it with a very, what I call, a bright color, such as yellow, orange, green. It will never clash together. The opposite color to black, which is white, but any type of white, beige, ivory, will go as well, very well, with any type of color. And black and beige, which is my favorite, love, love, love. Think as well of the role of three colors, please. This is so important. It works as well in home decoration, in anywhere in design. Never go over over the same color three times in the same outfit, you're going to start looking like a rainbow. Unless you want to look like a rainbow, that's your choice. Stick to three colors. So maybe a blue jeans, a black shirt, and with a white uh, handbag. Okay, just the colors like that. Another secret as well to be your own personal stylist is to try juxtaposition. So for instance, you can wear, this is big this year as well, and it looks always fantastic on everyone, is to mix something a little bit more 
more elevated with something more casual. For instance, you can wear a normal classic pair of jeans with a very well beautiful tailor blazer. Or if you're wearing just a normal black t-shirt, I don't know when I say black, but I'm wearing black obviously, and you think, yeah, it's a bit boring, then you can have a big piece of statement necklace that's definitely going to elevate you straight away. Or with a casual pair of jeans, which I used to love doing that a lot, is to wear a crazy pair of heels, different colors, and that was elevating as well the rest. I gave you so many ideas. <laughs> the other formula in fashion style is about the amount of skin that you decide to show. This is important. And trust me, it works at any time any age. For instance, you can decide to show your shoulders like I'm doing today. And if you do that, obviously, I'm show my shoulders, my arms, the back of my back. But I decided for the bottom that I'm not going to show my legs. I decided to wear a straight legs pants. I need to show you that. And sometimes I'm, more, I'm talking. So, you see, back. And this is just normal linen straight leg pants, extremely comfortable. <laughs> if you decided to do the inverse and you want to show your legs, then you can wear a beautiful, even a short skirt, but then with a shirt, with a blazer. This is balancing your silhouette. This is balancing your style. This is balancing your sexiness in a good way. Of course, at the end of the day, it's totally your choice if you want to be super over sexy. But in my opinion, I think when you're too over sexy, it goes straight away in an area that it doesn't scream elegance or polish or classy. You need to really think about balancing your outfit. Now, let's talk about the shopping mindset. How to shop with a clear mind or what you need when you in the stores and they try to sell you something actually you haven't thought about. Like, oh, do I really need that? So before you go to the shop, before you go to in front of a computer and you want to shop online, please do me a favor this is so important go to your closet full of clothes and select the clothes you haven't worn minimum for 12 months if you haven't worn them for 12 months i mean you will never wear them again donate sell have a deep look at your wardrobe and be honest with you okay don't be scared of it because first when you're going to do that it's going to give you some more space for the proper pieces that you need and you're going to see as well which type of clothes you wear most or maybe all the time for me straight leg pants if i wear some skirt it will be the one who are just a bit flowing just above the knee and usually they're in silk or in satin that's my favorite skirt and it's adapted to where i live as well obviously you need to do that for you for the top i love having something really tight on my body if i wear something flowing on the bottom and as well inverse if i wear like something like a tight pair of shorts on the top i will love to wear and i got quite a few and i wear them all the time is my linen shirts. I can love wearing them open or closed with a knot in the front. It doesn't matter. This is my style. And if I want to go out, usually if I want to wear a dress, and I know for you might be a bit boring, but 98% of them, they're black. This is the color I feel confident. This is the color I wear usually by night. I love this color and it suits me. I know it doesn't suit everybody, but to me, I have no problem at all with this color. It makes me feel strong, confident, sophisticated just by wearing this color. It's fantastic. So have a look away at your skirt, your pants, your jacket, and the shoes underneath. I, I love to place my shoes underneath because you always start to get dressed from a top to bottom and you finish by deciding which shoes you're going to wear. Or sometimes your process might be different. You're like, oh, I want to wear those shoes today. And then you reverse psychology, like, okay, well, I'm going to wear on the bottom, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Organize your undergarment in your drawers. Have a special bra for different way you wear your bra. So like I said, you need, for example, a t-shirt bra, a plunge bra, a bra that is crossed in your back for if you want to don't show the, the straps on your shoulders, your strapless one. Make sure as well in the three colors of bra, you have the white, but especially the nude and the black. 
that's colors you need to have. And for me personally, in the bottom, when I don't wear lingerie, if I want to have some an special event, I wear seamless undergarments. They are comfortable. They don't go through. You cannot see through my very light linen outfit that I'm wearing most of the time. And I can even sit in front of a computer for hours without feeling uncomfortable. <laughs> you can also flip some clothing pieces with fashion tape. I always talk about fashion tape. For example, if you have a shirt in satin, but every time you wear it, your color is a bit like that. I have this issue all the time. Then you can fix it with fashion tape underneath. Or if you have a beautiful linen shirt, but it look a little bit too boxy and you want to make it look a little bit tighter around your waist, then use some safety pin. Please be careful. Do not damage your garments. So when you finish doing that in your wardrobe, make a list of the garments that are missing in your wardrobe because not only it's going to save you money and also you can financially otherwise you will resent the outfit or will return it okay ask yourself why do i need to do what meaning why do i need this garment is it going for an event? Is it going to, for a wedding? Work at fit? Everyday at fit? Going for a drink? Going for a holiday? Personally, I cut down the over the top at fit because I live in a more relaxed environment. I live on an island and it's very casual here. I still love getting dressed. Don't get me wrong. It's just a little bit more simple. And my minimalist everyday casual is perfect for here. It's easy to wear. I only buy quality pieces with textures such as 100% cotton, linen, silk, and I have one black dress, my famous black dress that I love to go out with. It's very simple, but it's very open in the back, so it's, it has a touch of sexiness, and it doesn't even touch my skin, but guess what? Every time I wear this dress, even by the evening, I start sweating profusely horribly and then I cut the, the thing but I'm pretty sure that it's got polyester so you need to check if you're like me you have a sensitive skin you need to check that some fabric are going to make your skin react if it does stay away of that spend a little bit more time when you buy new clothes and check the composition of it. This is so important. Now I'm staying away completely to polyester which is a shame because sometimes they have very good clothes or very good cut but my skin is just like no I can't breathe. <laughs> Plus, you're going to save your money because where's the point to buy something you really, really like and when you wear it, your skin doesn't and then you're not going to wear it anymore and that's a waste of money and we don't want that. We want to be smart with our money. Invest in a few statement pieces that make you look the best dressed in the room. Personally, I prefer versatile pieces but I always ask myself if I'm going to wear the same in five years' time. Putting down in a super fashionable print, for example, that we look good only what for a few months and then the fashion trends are going to move away to something else on top of that it's going to bring so much stress on you said oh my gosh where's the next fashion trend i'm already no need fashion relax forget it on top of that if you have one fashion let's say a top really really fashionable okay puffy sleeve, a print, a color that's creaming only, you can wear only for a few months, maybe a few weeks. I bet you this piece do not mix much with the other. So you're not going to be able to rewear again. That's really out of fashion, out of money, you smarter than that. How to level up a simple outfit? Super easy. Super easy is accessorize. A belt, a scarf. I use some, some of my scarf in silk because obviously it's too hot here to wear the scarf. Sometimes I use it in my hair sometimes i'm using as a belt and i love it or even just on a handbag perfect accessory and it's different you see it's not something that you expect to see all the time change your handbag you have the same handbag you're using for the everyday that's fine if you have two three handbags like that try and i apply that to myself and it's not easy all the time change your casual handbag at least every week or every two weeks just to cut a little bit the monotony just to cut a little bit the boring thing and of course for special events where this beautiful beautiful pochette with a beautiful print or maybe you like glitters. A good accessory will elevate any timeless pieces and are easy to mix match with your outfit. And one of the easiest way and one of my favorite too, 
I don't have that nap today, but is a statement piece of earrings. That's the best. You can wear something super simple like me as a top and have big, beautiful earrings, you in girl. To look more sophisticated, there an easy way as well. Another hack is to layer more. So it will elevate an outfit in one second. It's for example, to use an overall. So it can be just a, an open shirt. It can be of course a blazer, a coat, a trench coat. Anything you put layering underneath, it will really help you to elevate everything. Another hack is to pick one knife ten and create a full outfit around it. So for instance, I pick my black body one over the shoulder. Okay, that's the thing. So when I pick that, I'm like, how I'm going to dress that? So I decided to wear an opposite color with a different texture, which is linen. And then I thought, okay, which type of shoes? Oh, I think I'm going to wear even like beige shoes or maybe black or reinverse with a colorful handbag because I'm not go over the three colors. So this is a very good way as well to create a different outfit just by picking one piece and creating the outfit around it. Don't overthink, trust your intuition. Have fun because dressing up every day must be fun and must be creative. But please push a little bit your limits, okay? Get away of the comfort zone. And most important, have fun. Thank you so much for watching. Please do not forget to click, 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 like it, subscribing. Can't wait to see you comments did you learn something from this video if you haven't watched it yet highly highly recommended i give you a big kiss big hug and i see you to the next video ciao ciao